Hi everyone and welcome to Regina Library. Today we'll be introducing you to Pop Culture Universe. This is a great database to get background information about historical decades, but also photos and primary source images like old advertising materials and political cartoons. This is put out by ABC Clio, which is a well-known publisher of encyclopedias and other reference materials. We'll show you how to get to the database, how to browse by time period or subject, how to search for a topic, and how to access and cite any information that you find. We're going to start on the Riviere Library homepage. From the left-hand side, click on Research Databases and Journals. When you get to that page, you can find Pop Culture Universe listed in a couple different sections, but I'm going to access it through the Reference section. Click the link, and if you're already signed into your Riviera account, you'll be brought right to the page. If you're not signed in yet, you'll get a Microsoft prompt to log in to your riviere.edu account. When you get to the database, there are a few different options for navigating. You can search for a name or term up top, or you can browse by time period or subject. To browse by time period, choose the decade you're interested in, and you'll see an overview of those years. You can navigate on the left to a breakdown by subject, like books and literature, visual arts, sports, or business and advertising. Click into any of those links for an overview of that area, and of course you can click on any of the links to explore further. When you select Browse by Subject, you're basically doing the same thing in reverse, picking one of those themes and then exploring all the articles within that section, regardless of the time period. To view certain types of materials, you can click the Filters drop-down and select the types of sources you want to see, like articles, biographies, photos and illustrations, and more. A straightforward search is your best bet if you have a particular topic you're interested in looking up. Let's say I want to find sources on Babe Ruth. I can type in his name, and on the results page I'll see a mix of information, from a biography and photos of him to mentions of him in other articles, like Yankee Stadium and baseball in the 1920s. Any article you click will have your search term highlighted, so you can see where and how often it comes up. You can also click down the left-hand side to see related resources on the same topic. Any of these photos are fair game to incorporate into your papers and posters, and there's citation info for them as well. Back on the article page, there's a quotation mark icon if you want to grab the citation, and you can find suggestions for further reading at the bottom if you want to grab ideas for additional sources. We hope this overview has been helpful, but if anything we went over today isn't making sense, or if you have a question about something else, we're happy to help you track down the answer. That's what we're here for. You can call us, text us, email us, chat with us, or stop by the library. We're open until midnight most nights, and we have a reference librarian at the desk every hour that we're open. Thanks for watching, and happy searching!